Quoth and King Kong are still at the inn, um, finishing up what is probably their meals. Um, at this point, I'm finished. I say I'm finished. Um, King uh, Cal Calhoun, could you do one more performance check for me? Uh, yeah. I uh, you all I don't well yeah. Hold on. Right. Always leave him wanting more. <laughs> Alright, at this point, she was like, she, she hops out from behind the bar, and she, you know, you're 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 drumming away still, and then she, you find there's this hand. You you saw her coming. She puts her hand on yours um, to stop you from drumming, and says, "I I I I I I think they have have had enough. Um, consider your debt uh, repaid." And thank you for the lovely performance. Thank you for the pork and. Would you like belch. to wrap the rest to go? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. She she takes out a small box. Here you go. Thank you. You have. And I I, I truly mean it. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. And she she mutters something in Dwarven and starts walking back. Do you speak Dwarven? I do. Uh, she mutters. I do not. All right, you do not. You she you hear her mutter the word cheapskate under his <laughs> on her breath as she walks back to the bar. Nice lady, huh? <laughs> She's very honest. Yeah, she has very very honest <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Since you took off running picket, you are the first to arrive at the farm. It is a very nice farmstead. The barn looks like it's seen some bad storms. There are a couple broken um, wooden boards. The the the, mach the pulley that lifts up the hay at the top looks like it's in you know it's rusted over and in poor disrepair. The house though looks like it's being fixed up currently. The paint is stripped, slightly stripped from the weather. Um, the sunflowers look like they're they're doing they're doing well. However, you do see there is a and you don't have to roll perception to see this. Coming I, I, I was rolling perception to see if I saw anything odd. Okay, odd. But... Um in one of the few sections of the field of sunflowers, there is this huge um pathway that has been um looks like something trampled through. Uh something that is a good probably easily ten feet wide. Uh trampled through, uh headed towards what looks like a cow pen um that has been repaired quickly. Um little bits of uh large boards just hammered where what looks like a creature busted through the fence. And unfortunately you there are some tracks, but they, you know, they look like they're generic, you know, three-toed, clawed feet, and you can't quite discern, like, anything meaningful from the tracks themselves, and outside, um... Clearly meteors did it. Meteors did this, um, and outside you see, um, Jill. She, she is currently carving what whittling a piece of wood the dog is laying on what is a laying in what is a basket uh, with soft fluffy blankets and what time is it um, she's, she's, uh, probably took you an hour to get out there so it's about 3 30 3 45 at this point oh still still way too bright out still very very bright out unfortunately um, Coming probably five minutes after you is the gentleman of the weird god, and he comes strolling up, and he takes a look around, and decides, okay, this is this is weird, sure, and takes a seat I'm, at one on the. I'm one going step. to roll investigation. Okay. <laughs> oh, clearly, oh. clearly, this was the work of Tarask. 
No, it's a computer. <laughs> so this was definitely a tarask. This was a tarask. It definitely <laughs> came th a baby tarask. A baby yeah. tarask came through here and tore shit up. To mm -hmm. a cobalt a tarask. <laughs> It doesn't need to be that. It could be a full-grown yeah, it could it, Maybe the baby Tarask was actually a full... Maybe it was a miniature Tarask. Miniature to most folk. Um, Rodan, <laughs> you are... You come out probably... Wait, are you calling me short? Maybe. Uh, Rodan... Uh, re, 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 how do you pronounce your name again? I am stupid. <laughs> Tonight. Sean. Rodian. Rodian. Rodian, you come up. Um, would, do you want to roll a? You are the third person. Uh, do you want to roll like an investigation or a perception or what? I'll roll uh, perception, arcana, and investigation. Okay, you could do those. So you take a quick look at. Whoa! Why crit. do you always crit? Uh, hey, you... I didn't crit or I go one recently today. Okay, so you take a quick look around. You definitely see these tracks. These tracks are about wyvern size. Um, judging from, you know, the, the length, um, there is a tail that looks like it has been dragging partway through. Um, but uh, when you look at the sunflowers, all right, uh, when you look at the sunflowers, you, it, it, it's definitely a strong tail. It, it's, it was able to bat some of the sunflower stalks, snapping them easily in two. Um, Quelloth, at, at this point, probably five, ten minutes later, you stroll up also. Um, so you rode Perception. Um, I did? No, Rielden. Um, judging by the creature in question, um, it looks like, let's see, where is it? All right. Um, all right. Uh, Arcana check doesn't reveal anything too much. Do you, you find, you know, what, what your perception, you did find some blood on uh, the fence that was repaired. Um, I'm, I'm looking for any other scales. Okay. Uh, there is, like, some blood, a little bit of scale on, like, the shattered fence bit. Uh, when you... Easily, you could see this after it crashed through the pen. It looked like it may have jumped over the fence on the other side and headed towards the woody area to the east. Okay. Uh, Arcana wise, um, at this I'm trying point, to get a feel for this uh, age of the creature that I think it is. Age of the if I creature. Know. Judging that, seeing that you've never encountered something like this before it's very hard to judge age um you can judge speed however and judging through this by the speed let me grab its um stats right here um uh, initiative movement it was very fast um i would say on par with something like a forest strike uh, a, far, a forest wyvern very quickly, easily could, in six seconds, probably could go from one end about 40 feet to the other that fast. Um, so faster than faster than your normal human or dragonborn. To my knowledge, will, will, uh, wyverns have a poisonous stinger, correct? Most wyver a lot of wyverns do. Um, Pickett could also confirm this if he's around, if you want to talk dragon stuff with him. Yep. This looks like a white a wyvern. If they have, if I recall correctly, don't they have like a poisonous tail or something? Yes, but wyverns are wyverns are bipedal and have wings. I'm gonna investigate the step marks. See if they have have what. If they if it truly is bipedal or quadrupedal. It is definitely quad. It's definitely quad. Um, have I arrived? Yeah, you have arrived at this point. I have arrived, I know. All right. And you are seeing Riodin and, you know, Pickett and um, and uh, Richard. Richard's just st sitting on the steps, kind of taking the scene in. Um, so you could roll your perception or investigation checks if you wish. Odd. Odd creature this is. <sighs> 
It is as fast. It. I said, Mario, what do you think about this? Who are you talking to? You. What do you think of it? What, what, what have you observed? I see some things that don't, that contradict. It is. It has four legs, but it has seems to have the speed of a wyvern. Oh dear. Yes, it, 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 but there is more legs than it should be. It is it, rather it, large. It's possible there are two of them. Unlikely due to the way the stations are marked, the footsteps are, but it is theoretically a possibility. Which direction do the steps go? East, into the forest. Into the forest. Um, we should go east the, into the forest. You, you see the tree that Jill had uh, told you about? It is this pretty big oak tree that looks like it has been partially pushed um, probably by the creature when it was running away maybe it somehow was tripped and just its body just knocked into the tree um, probably because maybe because the injuries it sustained um, from the fence uh, you're not sure maybe it, it had a limp uh, you're not quite sure um, you would have to go to the to the forest to to take a general look. Um, King Kong has now probably come um, to the farmstead, and what you see is a field of sunflowers, a, uh, a rushed repair job on what looks like a, a a cow pen fence, and a set of tracks coming from the sunflowers. Um, going towards the fence, crashing through the fence, hopping over the other side, and going into the woods, not before uh, pushing a tree to the side. I asked the lady how often that this thing has been attacking her cows. Um, my cows, it only has been, I've only had two accounts. However, my neighbor claims that in the past month, it has come three times to her farm and to another fellow that lives just over the hills over there. Uh, he claims he was attacked uh, twice as well in the same month. All of this started about two months ago. Uh, the attacks seemed to start from the west and then it came to my neighbor's farm. Uh, more east, and then it came to my farm, and then it, you know, made its way to the gentleman's farm over at the hill yonder. I believe his name is um, Wyatt. Uh, I, I don't know him very well. And the... Have you observed dead cows in his farm? Wyatt claims a calf was killed. Um, I he told me this. I, 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 I don't go to his I farm sense too. doubt in your voice. Well, I haven't seen the calf in question. Um, he, 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 said he, clean, he cleaned it up after uh, his attack. Um, he didn't want to attract uh, wolves to his farmstead as well as this creature. So it's good to pick things up after. How long ago was the last attack in your yard? In my yard, the last attack happened quite recently, um, just a few days ago. So it seems probably long gone. Every time we think it's gone, I hear of another place it has attacked. Can we track the the trail as it goes into goes west or um, east, whichever way it was running away? Uh, if you want to track, does it, do any of you have survival? Oh, no, well, it doesn't do. stop me from rolling it. Yeah, you can roll survival. Um, there is a definite path that goes through the forest. Is it like 10 feet wide, so it would definitely... Yeah, it's it's a big creature. I guess I'm so everybody but the bard. <laughs> <laughs> Should we... Alright. So, King Kong, did you want to see if you wanted to track this thing as as well? Okay, so I'll lead the way. so you guys are looking um, n near the tree that it was knocked down. Um, the dirt looks like it was scratched. Um, it, it, it it's 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 it, it looks like maybe there's there was some rain and washed part of the tracks away. However, Quelloth, um, you do see above um, about at 
10 feet height level. They're in broken twigs and broken branches. So you think you can get the general direction of where this creature went. Um, it, huh? it looks like it went um, after it went west, uh, well, east, sorry. After it went east, it went north. So it went northeast? No, it, it went east into the woods and then after it went into the woods, it made it went up, like directly straight up, like north. Right, into the sky. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, let's go. Let's follow that track. All right, very good. So you start. So you you tell yeah. everybody. Hey, I found tracks. I think he went this way, um, straight north after entering the forest. Okay, so all of you. Please, so you guys start marching forward um, about 20 minutes later, you come to a, uh, another, a small area where it looks like um, there was a, there, there are a myriad of tracks everywhere, and it looks like there is, everybody roll a perception check, please. All right, very good. Oh, jeez. All right, very, very good um, for everyone except Quoth. So Quoth, you're 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 looking for other signs among the trees to see if you see um, something, another sign of where this creature went. When there is what appears to be a cluster of dancing lights, it looks like. Um, like of all different shades and colors, probably about 20, maybe 30 feet ahead, um, going about north, just northwest of your position. Um, there is, you don't hear anything. It's just, it looks like, you know, fireflies dancing, but it's too, it's much too early for fireflies. Uh, but and the fireflies, fireflies are sh you know colors of pink and purple and green and blue, just dancing ahead. I want to roll Arcana to see if I think this is a pre uh, predestination spell, okay, or some other magical fire will o' wisps or something. All right. I was gonna say, do I? What do we know about will o' wisps? Or is that out of character? Um, you probably may have heard tales of will o' wisps, but so I'll let you roll. Um. Ghost stories. Yeah, ghost stories, that kind of thing. You've you've heard a lot while you've on been on the high seas. So so you you wrote Arcana. Um, I don't pass. It's hard to tell. Um, you don't think it's a willow with. Nope, I don't think it's a willow wisp at all. <laughs> um, these woods are freaking haunted. <laughs> <laughs> it's ghosts. It's ghosts. Ghosts, ghosts are doing this. Um, all right, I'm gonna hide from the ghost. All right, so you go hide from the ghost. So you can roll stealth. Um, so you find a decent sized rock, um, very quickly, and just you know scoot behind it, and rolling with your uh, Arcana check, you're not, you you're not quite sure what to make of it. Um, I mean, it could. Maybe there are different species of fireflies in this in this wood. It could be magical it, in nature, but you're not sure. It could be predestination. It could be, but you're you you you're not a hundred percent sure. Um, do you two let the other two? Well, King Kong, you see these two, but Qualoth did not. He's too busy looking above to see if there's other broken branches and other signs of. Um, uh, anything he can use to track this creature. Um, do you tell him about the lights? He doesn't see it, but he probably noticed Pickett like ducking immediately behind a rock. I point out, point it out to him. Okay, Quoth, you now see these dancing firefly-like lights. Um, are they advancing? Are they advancing on no, us? No, they, they, are, they are just staying in that area. Do I want to look at the ground over where they are? are there bones or anything underneath them? Um. From where you are, it's you know there is sunlight streaming through the foliage of the trees, um, and you have uh, what? What's your vision like? Is it dim? Is it? I have dark vision. 
uh, dark. Um, How far away are those lights? About 25 feet away from you. I would do divine sense and the sense for uh, any evil over there. You do not sense. Sorry to interrupt you. you. Okay, so you concentrate. Um, you put your hands in a prayer motion. You close your eyes. You're concentrating, getting a feel of the aura of the be of the beings around you, and you do not detect any evil. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have a question about that spell. Would it detect? Does it it's detect? Not a spell. Oh, your, your divine sense. Does it detect creatures in general, or just specifically evil creatures? Um, I, I, I have to, it says specifically, I, you, you're the place here in front of you, I'm looking online, um, hang on. I will, so it, it's a, it's a paladin, um, thing, yeah. I assume, okay. Um, it's like, that's celestial or fiend, that's 65. Celestial or fiend, and that's. Well, well, well I bet he also detects evil, but I'm not sure, this is kind of what I remember. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to quickly look at it. Um, because I want to know if, uh, Trade yeah. Paladin, and Divine Smite, and, uh, Divine Sense, Strong Evil, um, Powerful Senses, like, after Powerful Good, Powerful Good, um, so you can locate any Celestial Fiend or Undead within 60 feet of you, and, okay, so this is probably, this is none of these, um, you, so you concentrate and you cannot sense any celestial beings or evil beings or fiend beings. It's you don't you don't not sense that. Okay, uh, thank you. King Kong, what did you want to do? Um you see these dancing lights about twenty five feet from your position. Um I'm not sure what to do yet. Okay. I say we walk up to them. Well, I mean I don't fear lights to you. Well, it's a ghost. It's not. It's not beneath me. It's not a ghost. Pickett thinks it might be a ghost. It's a ghost. <laughs> it's not a ghost. It might be a ghost. You're not quite sure. Either. 